What's up, YouTube? It's Sir Takeaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'll be showing y'all how to fix the connection issue with your Moga controller. So let's get it in. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to connect the Moga Pocket and Moga Hero Pro to your Android phone. I actually don't have the Moga Pocket with me right now, but this same method does work with the Mocha Pocket and Mocha Hero. And I had some issues with this actually working on my phone, but I figured it out on how to do it. I went on some forums. They didn't really help me out. So I'm going to show you all how to do it right now. So first, I'm going to show you all what it looks like before whenever you try to connect the controller. And then what it looks like after you get done doing the little technique that I'm going to show you all. So let's get it in. Let me show you all how to do this. All right, so you just look up your Moga app. If you don't have this application, I know they don't have it in the Play Store anymore, so I'll go ahead and put the link in the description to the same application that I have. So what you want to do is that you want to turn on your controller. Go to Setup. Go to Hero Power, because that's the one that I have. And I switched on the side A. We're going to let it search. All right, and it says unable to locate your MOGA. Pro. All right, so it'll do this a few times, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that scenario with y'all right now, but I'm just going to show y'all what y'all need to do in order to get it connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to skip, go to continue. All right. And what I want to do is I want to make sure there's no controllers already connected right here. All right. So whenever that's said and done, you want to go ahead and you want to go into your settings, go into Bluetooth. And in your Bluetooth, you want to look for the MOGA controller, which is going to pop up right here. Just go to connect to it. All right. And we're going to go back to our MOGA app. And you see now saying that it's connected, but I didn't do anything. So you're probably like, okay, well, if it's not working, you know, I'm using the controller. It's not doing anything. Well, the way that you fix that is you go back into your settings. You go down to where it says apps. And you find your MOGA app. All right, MOGA. And you want to go to memory nope my bad you want to go to storage you want to go to clear data and what's weird is that if you watch right now you see whenever you normally clear data on an application it should delete all of his data but if i go back in to the moga application go to setup it connects it for some odd reason it just connected it, but that's pretty much how you fix this issue. I don't know if it's an issue with the application or what it is, but I figured that out for you guys because I know that a lot of people have been having this issue with these controllers, and this should work on pretty much any controller. I tried it on two, like I said, the Mocha Pocket and the Mocha Hero Pro. So as of the other ones, I really don't know, but I'm just using this as the same scenario. So I'm pretty sure that it should sure work the same way. But if you're using the B side, uh, all that you do is just connect it through Bluetooth and obviously it's gonna use it as like a touch screen, which I would show y'all that right now. So if you want to, you just turn on side B on your other controller, just go into settings, connections, Bluetooth, and just wait for it to search for the Moga controller. You see where it says Moga 2, 
HD or whatever, whatever your controller's name is, it should be there if you have the B function. Then as soon as it's connected, it's going to select it as your input device and then you can use it as a regular controller. Or you could use it as an input device for your like touch screen. So waiting for it to um, waiting for it to reconnect to it. All right, and I'll show you how that it works this way too. There you go. So as you can tell, I could be able to use my device through my controller. The only thing that this doesn't work with is just um, using like the keyboard. But if you wanted to, you could use it to like select apps. So if you wanted to not use your touch screen, if you wanted to like select different applications for games, you'd be able to do that. So it's all around a good app or it's a good controller but for some reason the app was acting up and wouldn't allow me or most of y'all to actually be able to use the controller for the functions that it needs to be used for so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe